Today I'm in Lakeview to see this handsome brick home built in 1913. Today I'm in Lakeview to see this very sleek contemporary home. They're the same house. Here's the rear wall of the original, gorgeous old brick going up to its great limestone trim. And here what I'm standing in is a steel shingled addition in the back with 25 feet of glass going up, bringing in all this great southern sun. This combination starts with a remnant of the old Arthur Meeker estate here in Lakeview. There's a very large complex right next to the park, two doors down from us, an old mansion that was the Meeker house, and this was the coach house. You can tell when you look at the front, you see that nice curving wall that signals that people would have driven up there, and then the seller tells me those big windows you see across the front are where the garage doors were, and he envisions in the 1920s Duesenbergs driving up into this coach house. They bought it in 2006, created this space I'm in, and completely changed the interior. Across the front, with those big windows, you've got a nice contemporary layout of a great big living room looking out on that large gated front yard. It's got a wonderful tray ceiling above, lit with a frame around it. It's got this great fireplace wall of limestone, contemporary thin stacked limestone, then a dining room, sitting room, and overlooking those is a very nice contemporary kitchen. And something great to see in the kitchen, aside from all that wonderful Italian cabinetry, is the texture of the backsplash. You've got something really interesting going on there. It's got this great, sleek, contemporary tile, thin, stacked tile. And then across from there in the family dining, the informal dining, you've got more of that thin, stacked limestone, and then the original brick of the original house. So you've got all those textures coming together, new and old. And from there, to here, the family room, where you've got all this light as I described, but you can also go out into the backyard with this nice complex of very contemporary looking decks. There's also this terrific staircase, custom made with cable rails, very contemporary, and it's gonna take us up to the bedroom floors. There are three bedrooms on the second floor, two for children, and then the master across the front it's got nice big windows that look out over that big, deep front yard you have. It also has a really terrific, very crisp inset fireplace. And then a bathroom that, I mean, the only way you can describe it is spa-like. It's really a terrific spot. There are five bedrooms in all, those three on that floor, then one in the basement. There, it's with two other rooms. One is sort of a family room and one is a, one of the cutest playrooms you'll ever see. And then the fifth bedroom is here on the third floor in the top of the addition. It's a great room with a wonderful southern view from its inset balcony. From that balcony, you're looking out over the grounds of what used to be the Meeker Estate, later was the Convent's Gardens, and now is being redeveloped with some new single-family mansions. Really nice room with that intimate balcony. Then you can come out to this really pretty relaxation room and out to a much larger balcony. Here on this north-facing balcony is where you see the two eras of the house come together. Here's the addition with that wonderful steel shingle cladding. And then over here is the brick parapet of the original coach house. So sitting here on this north-facing balcony with the high-rises all around, you're in your own little hideaway, which is really what this was built as in the teens.